up you guys I'm Tiffany Tiana and welcome to my channel today we are on a hunt for a couch we meaning me and my husband Brian he's there focusing on the road oh. <laughs> so to give you guys a quick recap we just closed on our home if you're interested in seeing that video I'll link it down below we recorded that as a closing day vlog on our other channel um, called Find the Foresters, but I'll link it down below. Anybody that has been searching for furniture during this pandemic is aware that furniture and probably other things other than the furniture too are severely delayed with shipping. We've looked at some couches online at various stores. We have an idea of one that we're really interested in. And for it, give you a good example, that one, if we were to order it, would take 15 to 17 weeks to get to us. So we don't want to wait until we move in to go buy the furniture. We want to we go buy the couch. We want to buy it um, likely this weekend. And then we can start on that 17 weeks now. So we won't have to wait as long as we get in the house. But anyways, we're going to go to a couple of places. We're definitely going to go to Crate and Barrel. We live near a Crate and Barrel outlet. So we're going to check that out. If we don't, I don't know if they have the couch at the outlet. I know they have it at the regular Crate and Barrel store, so we might have to go to the other one if they don't have it at the outlet. We have a couple other furniture stores they're gonna go to. I want you guys to come along and shop with me. And there are three things we're looking for. First, we're looking for aesthetic. So it has to match the aesthetic that I want um, for the, the vision for the house. Um, the color I'm looking for is kind of like in the cream family. Um, next thing is durability. So I don't want it to just look good, but I want it to also um, last long. Uh, so I'm willing to invest in a quality piece if it will last me for 10 years or so. And then comfort. I don't want it to just look good and last long, but it's gonna be the couch that's gonna be in our family room. So I really want it to be comfortable and just practical for the space. And we're leaning towards sectional just because that just fits the vibe we're looking for in the family room area. Um, so we're probably going to put a lot of our emphasis on sectionals. And I do want some armchairs in there too, but I don't want to look for those today. I feel like the, the couch you pick kind of just uh, anchors the room. And so I don't want to really get too crazy. I have some ideas, but I don't want to get too crazy and buying stuff until I have the couch selected so that everything can be framed around the couch. Of course, when you go to Crate and Barrel, you can't just look, look at the furniture and go out. So I'll probably end up sneaking in some miles. I haven't told my husband that yet. So just, that's between me and y'all. I'll probably go sneak in some miles. That's on his business. That's between us. So we'll take y'all along and let you see what we get into. This right here is so cute. It's very cute. But I'm trying to stay focused on the couch. I'm trying not to buy nothing. Brian judging me, y'all. I also like these for a pantry organization. I want to get two of them sorted, but I'm going to wait because I need to measure the space in the pantry. One tip is to never get storage containers until you measure to make sure you're getting the right stuff to fit your space. But I might be ordering those online. Okay, you guys, so we're out now. That was a really small outlet. It had some nice things in there. There were certain things, like if you're going in there for furniture, you can really get a good deal. The decor items, there were certain things that were discounted, certain things weren't, so I wouldn't, like if, you know, you can go to the regular crate and barrel for those like plates and stuff like that. But if you're looking for like the big pieces, that's where I really noticed a lot of the 
um, savings. So to give you an example, there is one um, really large circular lounge chair that I saw online and it was about a thousand dollars online so 9.99 and then there it was 774 so i didn't really like inspect it a lot to see if it had any um damage or anything like that but from the regular eye it, it looked like it was fine um so we're now going to find out what our next stop is going to be we're either going to go to a regular crate and barrel next or another furniture store so we'll take you guys along with us Okay, you guys, we are about to go into an actual crate and barrel to get a little more luck on furniture. This is more like it. So now we have to search for the gather or something else we like. This looks gatherish right here. It's over there. Well, that might be it. You're right. Let's go check it out. That's not the right one, but. They had different types. This is Barrett. So this is nice. We would need something bigger than this. But yeah, I guess it says right here. So we need to look for Gather is what we came to come. The Gather collection. This is really nice for an entryway or something. What'd you say? So I like how deep the seats are. Hi guys, how yeah. are you? Good, how are you? Good, right. This is Axis. Yes, actually, do you have the Gather collection? Yeah, we do. Um, it's on the other side of the rails, on the other side. It's got the chase, the two chases. Um, oh, that's the one we were looking for. That's the, like the Gather 3 or the Gather 2? That's Gather, and then there's Gather Petite. Okay, we're gonna go for that, thank you. So this is the gather. This is what we originally came in here for. This is the exact couch, not color. So you want to have two chases, which I really like because I love laying on that part. But I like this color more. So she's about to bring me the sample Monet champagne. So I don't know. This is smaller than the other one. These are like three pieces though, right? Yes, yes. One piece is Chase, the love seat, and then the other Chase three. All right, you guys, we are out of Crate and Barrel. We spent way more time than I thought we were going to spend in there because we end up looking. We came in here for one couch. We end up seeing some other ones that are look good, but I think we might end up going back to the couch we came in here for, which is the Gather. But. It, we can get some um, discounts if we buy it online <laughs> but we also want to make sure before we invest in that piece so we're probably going to go to another furniture store as well but we need to stop and get a bite to eat so once we get to the other furniture store we'll take you guys along Nice and comfy. <laughs> One of the main differences we're seeing, you guys, with prices, whether it's real 
solid wood or faux wood. So keep that in mind if you're seeing something that looks aesthetically the same, but maybe a little less. It's probably because of that. So we didn't see anything we wanted in there. Thanks, babe. We did see, like I told y'all, some nice things aesthetically, but we're going to start looking at the materials. Everything in there was 50% off. Apparently. Right. Oh, yeah. They had good deals. Everything was 50% off. And then if you got something over $2,000, they would deliver it for free and set it up for free. So it was a really good deal if we, we were to find something. And there are things that I liked, like two couches I liked, two sectionals. But I just don't want to save a thousand dollars now and it not last as long like everything the base of it was faux wood which is probably fine but i'm trying to find something that's going to last me for like 10 years and so when i was doing my research about um couches and like what to look for in terms of comfort and durability and just longevity they said to make sure that one second you guys so yeah, when I was doing my research, it was saying to look for a solid wood, solid hardwood, like kiln dried hardwood. So if you see anything that's with plywood or fiberboard or particle board or um, plastic or anything like that, it won't last as long, which makes sense. So just pay attention to all that stuff when you're looking for a couch. You going to the Bob's? I guess. Oh, well, then, oh yeah, that's what I came up here to say. So then it looks like we have decided on a family room couch now we're trying to see what we want for the basement couch so um brian really wants a leather couch down there i don't really want a leather couch but i'm trying to remain open-minded and kind of see if we find something that can meet both of our aesthetic needs but i'm trying to let him drive that more because the basement is we'll all be down there but it'll really be more of his man cave so i want him to be happy with it so we're gonna go on Bob's Furniture. I've never been to the Bob's Furniture, but I always see these commercials. Now I sound like you. Now I didn't understand why you was doing that. Oh, snap. This one kind of comfortable, y'all. Oh, yeah. This is definitely movie watching quality right there, though. Yeah, boy. I was judging him a little bit on this. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. That was comfortable. It was very comfortable. My only issue is this puffy look right here is not really my thing. It's not what? Like it looks like a balloon, like it looks, but it's actually very comfortable, very very comfortable. So you don't like this color? Actually, I like this color. Yeah, I like this color actually. It's like a um, cognac color. Mm. This is pretty good. It has USB ports, memory foam seating. Okay. This actually doesn't, this reminds me like a movie theater room. Like yeah. I actually don't mind this as much. Y'all look at all this. Got the outlet. <laughs> That's the you the okay? Okay, okay, thank, thank you. you. This Bye. style doesn't, so this is a couch, but then it flips. So yeah, so that's how it looks. Okay, so I was, I thought we weren't going to make any headway in Bob's because <laughs> I just figured we weren't going to find anything in there. But to my surprise, we did. Um, we're going to go research it more, though, because we want to make sure that the stuff in there is quality furniture. But um, Brian did see um, 
a love seat type of recline Ooh, i showed you guys on the camera so he did see something he liked i did like the color of it like that cognac color is beautiful i can see it like it, it just screams like you know you guys will see coming along with us we want a wet bar down there we're gonna add a wine cellar down there um we have our we're gonna add like a cigar humidifier thing within the wine cellar so like all of that just you know we're gonna have a whole bunch of whiskey bourbon cognac at the bar so like the cognac color just speaks to our basement to me so like the color but we want to do our research and make sure we're not just buying something just to buy it and make sure it's good quality so thank you guys for coming along with us we did find our family room couch and we're gonna order it online um we at least have a vision of what we might want for the basement sofa so that is <laughs> better than what we came out with we had no idea what we wanted for that so hopefully you guys enjoyed the footage coming along with us hopefully you took away some information that you can use if you are going to be searching for a couch soon and um we would definitely keep you guys posted on what it looks like in the space once we get in the house yes i will definitely do an empty house tour once we get in there so stay tuned for that hit the notification bell so you can be alerted whenever i upload and hope you enjoyed the footage and consider subscribing all right peace